Kendall. Hello. Hello, you all right? All right, good, you? Good, yeah, I'm good, thank you. 2-2 two, two against West Ham. We've got red and white on there, Lake Kendall. Have that. I know. This is, the, this is the thing. This is the only red and white I'll ever wear my whole life because it's Athletic Real Madrid, obviously. I'm looking <laughs> on this side. Um, but obviously, it's Athletic Real Madrid. But yeah, we'll not speak mm. about the red and white. It's the only red and white I'll ever wear. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, let, I'll let you off. I'll let you off. I like, I like some money. But um, Bruce Lee the day, 2-2 two, two against Moises West Ham. What did you make of it? I mean, I, it was well, there wasn't really much to talk about sports. It was a bit of a boring game. Um. 2-2 two, is not the worst result in the world. It could have been um, the way they played, to be honest. It could have been all three points to them, if, I, if I'm if i quite honest. Um, some of the subs were a bit questionable second half as well. I thought second half was flat. Mm. Um, when, I mean, when they didn't bring Carroll on, like, straight away, which is what I would have done, they brought Richie on instead for Gale. I was a bit like, okay, weird. Um, <laughs> but he just... He, he does make questionable subs, though, doesn't he? It's never, like, the norm. Like, where the fans are like, oh, this is what we do. He never sort of does that, but, yeah. Uh, I was hoping for see Carol a bit earlier because Gale was struggling against the likes of Diop, who's massive throughout the yeah. game. So he could have done with Carol's presence up top a bit more. Maybe even Gale running off him, but I was calling for Andy to come on and Andy came on. He well, didn't say no for him, did he? Even Lazaro, yeah, who I thought was... Lazaro was hard done by not to get a start after how good he was against Bournemouth. He came on and couldn't really do much on the ball either. No, I, honestly, I think I don't think anyone really did too much. To be fair, today, um, I mean, I saw a lot of people moan about Craft and stuff, but I don't think he was like amazing. But I don't think he's been too bad the last couple of games that he started. Um, mm. I don't think he's been the worst in the world, but he did make a couple of mistakes today. But along with Lascelles as well for their first goal, which was avoidable. Um, but I think Antonio absolutely ran our defence a shambles today. Yeah. Which I'm really surprised because I I mean I don't see that a lot a lot from him, but he looked like phenomenal today for some reason. I don't know whether it was our defence or whether he was just too much for our back foot handle. I'm not entirely sure, but yeah, it wasn't um too many positives to take from today, but I suppose a point's decent and we're safe now. So I think uh, I really shambles understand. shambles is a good way to describe Lascelles as defending at the start of the game, isn't it? It was. It was really bad. I was actually shocked, but because he's been pretty solid um, since the restart, I think. Um, I mean, I know a lot, a couple of like our fans, like slate him sometimes and say like, oh, he makes mistakes. He's inconsistent, but I don't think he's like. I think ninety five percent of the time he's solid. He's decent. Um, but obviously, mistakes like that a day could cost you the game, I suppose. But it didn't in the end. Luckily. Mm. A uh, good fighting spirit, I suppose, to, to come back from being down twice against a team who do need points more than Newcastle. Yeah, I was still moaning about like their second goal. And then as I was still complaining, <laughs> Shelby went and scored with an 87 seconds. So I was like, oh, that's OK, that's fine. That's what we need. Like, we need that to come back because obviously goals are starting to come back in again for us now, which is strange. But um, mm. none from Joel Linton again. But yeah. <laughs> so that's, that's, that's another conversation. Uh, we... Uh, we were saying, I mean, is Joe better for you? Couldn't be much worse, like, but is he more suited out ways on the left instead of the number nine role? Yeah, 100%. I've been saying for a long, long time that he's definitely better suited out. He's not like a, he's not a sole number nine. He's not like a, um, that sort of player at all. And he's definitely showed improvement. I wouldn't say he's like anywhere near what we expect him to be for 40 mil, but um, he's showed a lot of improvement since he's been put out wide, I think. Um, mm. I don't know if other people agree with us, but that's, I do think he's definitely shown a bit more since he has been doing that. And seeing Max when he came off the bench, to Newcastle lacked a bit of the creativity, a bit of spark about, you know, we look for him to make the difference. Does it yeah, show how much said, he, he carries the team? Yeah, my brother said today, like, as soon as St. Maxi went off, like, we just did nothing. It was just, like, so lacklustre. There was absolutely nothing going on whatsoever. And, like, no one putting the balls forward. Um, the crossing today was atrocious. I don't even mm. know what to say about that. It was very bad. Um, although obviously Crafts like did a, made a great pass for our first goal, um, which is good from him. But yeah, he he provides same actually provides all of our creativity. I think by ninety five percent of it, um, we just we look like we have nothing when he goes off. And I understand why he takes him off. Obviously, because he needs. Obviously, we've got like a game on Wednesday. And you need to save him. You can't like run him out for the ninety minutes because he does get tired because he does a lot of work. So I do understand why he takes him off, but it's just 
it's frustrating that nothing comes from him being on the bench. Like, nothing happens after that. Yeah. It's only him or Shelby that we're really looking to make something happen. Yeah. It? And I mean, even Shelby's passing was off today. Like, the commentator said he normally pings a pass out from anywhere. And even he was given some shock on passes today. So I don't really know what was going on. Like, I'm surprised West Ham were like a lot for us to handle today. But they have something something to fight for, I suppose. They don't want to go, don't want to be relegated, do they? So. Mm. They definitely well, showed there, like fighting spirit today. Uh, at least Newcastle are going to get relegated now and try and push no. push for top ten, which is, I guess, at the start of the season, we would have took that, wouldn't we? When Brucey got appointed, oh, hundred percent. I would. I was honestly, I think if I, I don't, I might have to go back and delete some tweets because I think that was like, <laughs> oh yeah, we'll be relegated by Christmas. That's it. Season's over. Like that's right. finished. But I think we're three points off Benitez's as as point tally last year, last season. So if we can get another win or another couple of draws in the in the bag, then it's not a bad season overall. Don't think anyone can complain. Nah, not at all. Right, cheers, Kendall. Good seeing you. All right, you as well. See you later. Take care. See you later. Bye.